Hello, welcome back to my channel, Terry's Thrifty Finds. Thank you so much, my thrifty shoppers, for stopping by and watching my videos. I want to thank you again, all the new subscribers, especially my sister. Shout out to her for joining my channel and for watching our videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button on your way out so that lets you know when we are uploading videos. So later this evening, you will see our Sunday snack test. So watch out for that. So I'm going to dive right in with this Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'll start with some of the items I picked up in like the beauty section. Um, as you know, now this is not, this is from Walmart, but also Dollar Tree has this um, container, which is really nice because it has the flip top on it and you turn it, lock it in place. When you want to unlock it, you just push down with your cotton ball and it's a great thing for nail polish remover. And so what I did is I had this one, I still have one, an empty one, not, it comes in this container like Walmart, or you can get these and they have a strengthening one, which is the one I picked up. It's six ounces. So if you want to pick this up and just refill this container or the Dollar Tree has one that's already has the nail polish in it, either way, you're still paying a dollar. So I think when I was at Walmart yesterday, um, this six ounce container, I think was a little more than a dollar. So you're better off just get, getting it a dollar. This is the Swan brand and they're all the same to me. So definitely I like this container versus this and you're spilling it and losing a lot of, of, of content. So definitely check that out. Um, then I'll go on to some storage things and I'm, you see back here, I, I love this container. I got this at Walmart when they had the clearance and, but it doesn't really match the decor. So I'm kind of rearranging things around in my bathroom. I don't really have a bathroom cabinet in the guest bath or sorry, in the main bathroom, it's not the main bathroom, the ensuite bathroom. Um, no counter space. Why is that? And yet I do all my makeup in my guest bathroom because I have a couple of drawers there and here is just for shower and washing my face at night, brushing my teeth. Anyway, I want to get like a different container and I think I have a repurpose that container for the office. And so I picked up this to put on, this is actually for the refrigerator and I do have one in white. So they have this in black and white. It has the little um, grippers on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. Um, so I think this is made for your refrigerator and also you've got this rubber um, easy to clean. So I think I'm going to put this in the bathroom um, and have my little, you know, my cotton balls and all the things that I need extra in the bathroom in there. And I have a container that I'm going to repurpose and put near my bed. That's where I do my lotion at night uh, after my shower. I do all of that. Um, before I get dressed. So these are great containers for your, um, for your, uh, sorry, your <laughs> refrigerator. They do have the narrow ones. So the narrow ones are about the same length. Um, this is a, it says it here, nine by nine by six. I think that is container. So really nice, uh, storage thing. Then I decided to pick up this. It comes with a lid. And it has the dividers in it, so I think I'm going to repurpose this either um, in this container. It's going to set right in so I can divide some things up. So you could get a couple of these if you want to fit in there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it there or by the bed. But it has the little um, dividers in there so that you can separate things, you know, like chapstick, your lip balm, maybe your, you know, clippers here or um, little pads to clean your glasses or your iPad, whatever it is. It's a really great container. And this was over in the uh, home section, like where the hangers and so forth are, lit rollers. This was on the back shelf where all the plastic containers are in storage. So you're on the lookout for that. This also was in the home goods area and I just picked this up I have a couple of the bigger ones in the gray and the black in my console table where I have the storage like it's a charging station for my iPad and where I keep some of the things that I use during the week, books and 
things like that. My day timer. Um, just a nice little bookshelf that I got at Target. I love that thing. But um, these fit really good. This is an 8 by 11 and it's 4 inches high. So these aren't super sturdy, but they will, you know, it's a catch-all thing. It's got the little handle on it. You can just slide it in that shelf space and put things away so they're just neat and tidy and you can find it. So I decided to pick up one more of these because I'm redoing that shelf a little bit too, kind of repurposing things. Okay. And I just should have went with my beauty stuff. Yeah. Um, I decided to try this. Now, I don't, I might try it tonight because my hair, I try not to wash my hair every day. I do color my hair and um, I go to the salon to have her do it because she <laughs> does such a great job and haircut. So I decided to try this Garnier. Um, this is a pure, clean, dry shampoo, instant, fresh feel. So right now my hair is not dirty, but it tends to get oily. So I thought I'd, you know, hold off washing my hair and try this. Uh, comment down below if you've tried any of these dry shampoos. I think my daughter has. I don't know which one she uses. Uh, some of my fellow vloggers have been hauling. I don't remember the name brand, but it is a name brand like Garnier. It was uh, like a purple can or like a lavender can. And it looked like it was um, a larger can. This is, um, I'm trying to think of that. I'm trying to read that. 3.4 ounces. Is that right? It's really not much in here, but maybe because it is a dry shampoo, that's why you have less in there. But anyway, we'll try it out and see how it works. And if it does, I'll, you know, works good, I'll go back and get some more. Just a few food items that we didn't do on the snack test, but maybe, maybe I'll do it next Sunday. Um, these were here in the bedroom because I was going to do the haul in here. But these come in a, in a four pack. They're individual servings, which I like. It has the resealable thing if you wanted to reseal it, but if they're individually wrapped, you won't need it. But it's nice, it has the M&Ms in it, um, peanuts, raisins, uh, salted almonds, and cashews. So I thought that'd be a great little snack to have at my desk or for Jim to put in his lunch. Um, yeah, only 130 calories. Nature's Garden, and if we like these, I'll definitely pick those up on a regular basis. Then we, or I should say, I picked up, you don't get very many in here. There's 1.5 ounces. This is a Russell Stover sugar-free chocolate candy and the mints. So I wanted to compare this to the Andes, not the Andes mints, but the, you know what I mean, the mint candies that we usually get the sugar free see if we see a difference you know let's try that and let's see okay this is checking out this is also from the beauty not really beauty section this was actually near where the car fresheners are and everything I've walked by these several times and I thought, do I need it? Nah, I don't need it. And then I did see a pattern that I liked. I picked up two, one for me, one for my daughter, but it's, you put it on your keychain and basically it's to, you can use it on your keypad or you can use it to, um, I wonder how strong that is, to pull on the handle. Um, usually I just use my sleeve. I put my hand through and I pull it with my sleeve. Um, and then when I'm going out of a store, I push with my rear end <laughs> out the door. So, but I thought, yeah, we try these no touch key. They had different patterns. They had like psychedelic type pattern. They had like a animal print and I don't recall. So in your stores, you might see different patterns. So fun, fun. Okay. Now this, I don't celebrate Easter, but I wanted to pick this up. Now it looks like it's a hanging. So some people do like a, like a theme tree for every holiday. I know that my friend Camille, um, she works in a, uh, what do you call it? It's extended healthcare center for older people, but um, there's also people that live in assisted living. That's what I'm trying to say. 
and she they have a tree like in their lobby they would decorate for seasons not just for Christmas so it looks like it has like a little thing you would hang it or you can hang it off of a window I'm not going to paint it but it does they had different kits um, in there um, I don't remember the ceramics this is the bunny I think they had some kind of Easter egg scene so probably there was three different ones but it comes with the paints and also the little brush but I'm just gonna use the little guy by himself I'm not gonna paint him I think he looks cute just by himself for spring decor so and part of the spring decor and I didn't see anyone haul this so this was brand new I went to my store yesterday because I've been going wanting to go Friday after work at 6 I go there and what's nice is the store is empty but they haven't put their stuff out yet so I don't know if they don't have enough help uh, supposedly their truck comes in Thursday evening and he told me to come Friday well Fridays I'm it's hit and miss on stuff and I wasn't really finding anything so Saturday I went it was packed I don't like it to go when it's busy but I did anyway so this is really cute fresh carrots locally grown 25% sorry 20 25 cents each cottontail farms and so it's kind of like a faux you know it's that fake was wood but it's cute that little cutting board it's not, you can actually make something like this repurpose it maybe I don't think you can take this off that's pretty that's on there pretty good you would probably ruin it um but uh definitely check that out I think my light's going <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by I'm going to turn that light off and I hope that you will stop by again and watch the rest of our videos stay tuned for sun for sunday snack test day it will be posting later this evening after my husband does his lovely editing um, but we hope you subscribe hit that bell button and share this video with those people that would benefit from it bye